Hello everyone, I'm Bing Zhen Li from Peking University, China. Today, I'm presenting CellFusion, a system for optimizing performance of vehicle to cloud video streaming. This work is done when I was a research intern at Alibaba Cloud. So, our subject, vehicle to cloud video streaming, where can we find it? And what characteristics does it have? The most common case is live streaming, where users upload a high resolution video in real time. Like other video streaming applications, this requires the network to have low latency and high bandwidth. A more challenging case is remote diagnostic, where clinicians remotely direct a paramedic to perform urgent treatment to save lives. However, this is not possible if the video is frequently corrupted or stopped due to network failures. Then, we also have the extreme case, teleoperated driving which remotely overtakes driving for autonomous vehicles when algorithms fail to solve the long-tail doom of today's self-driving. In addition to the requirement of near-zero error rate, we also need to upload video from multiple cameras at the same time. According to our self-driving partner's use case, this would require the network to have a consistent throughput of 30 Mbps and RDT of less than 200 milliseconds, respectively. Currently, cellular networks that promise to provide both high throughput and low latency seems to be the only fit for vehicle cloud streaming applications. However, our real test shows that with higher mobility, the performance of cellular networks is no longer promising. We observe unstable link quality, high delay jitter, and loss rate ranging from 0 to 100% in both LTE and 5G. So, we see, by now, cellular networks cannot support vehicle-to-cloud video streaming seamlessly. And in this work, we aim to address this problem. CellFusion is our solution for enclosing the gap between the fluctuating network condition and the tight QU requirements. CellFusion embraces a proxy-based architecture to transparently enable multipath for users. To practically address the network performance issues, four key components are included in the solution. The first one is multiple connections from different carriers. This is essential for overcoming the fluctuating network condition. The second one is a dedicated hardware to accommodate multiple wireless interfaces and offer a controlled software environment for performance optimization. Then we have a packet aggregator deployed near the hardware to optimize the end-to-end -end latency. Finally, we deploy customized quick base transport protocol for optimizing performance while reusing various kind of functional components from Quick. So let's discuss more about the design points and why we adopt them in CellFusion. Firstly, we choose to use multiple cellular connections to leverage infrastructure diversity. Consistent with the video streaming performance, we found that weak coverage of any single carrier is common. But by using four cellular connections at the same time, we may reduce the percentage of bad coverage for up to one magnitude. We also note that we favor multiple cellular carriers over carrier aggregation to connect to as more base stations as possible and survive failures in carrier core networks. Then, we design our own hardware to accommodate multiple cellular interfaces. The benefit is threefold. Firstly, the controlled hardware provides us computation and storage resource that exactly match our needs. Secondly, the controlled cellular model driver offers better stability and essential runtime information for us to perform diagnostics. Finally, given the flexibility, we are also able to manufacture some hardware components like the antenna for further improving performance. Next, we deploy packet aggregators that forwards video traffic to real receivers at the network edge near our hardware. At the runtime, the hardware automatically chooses the nearest edge proxy server to forward user traffic. We know that the proxy-based traffic forwarding architecture often introduces extra latency when the data path is not on the best routing path. So, by placing the proxy server near the hardware, we minimize such penalty. Our last design point is that we use multipath quick as the base transport protocol. 
as a pure user space solution, uh, Quick is easier to customize and easier to deploy. Polypass Quick also comes with various functional components that we could reuse, including pass management, congestion control, and to end encryption, and more. This enables us to conveniently embrace the most advanced transport protocol design, both from the academia and the industry. Next, we'll talk about our protocol design and how it improves video streaming performance. Here, we illustrate our challenge in this figure. When using multipath transport in a fluctuating network, we use redundancy to overcome latency jitter. That is, sending our multiple paths and the data will be delivered with the lowest delay of all paths used. However, for the bandwidth hybrid video traffic, we also need to lower the redundancy because redundant traffic occupies the scarce bandwidth and also we need to pay for every bit we transfer. So, how do we achieve low traffic cost and low latency at the same time? Our answer is to deploy a partial reliable transfer scheme. To deliver the video traffic in real time, a reliable transfer scheme like UDP is commonly used. But in the fluctuating cellular network, lost or severely delayed packets would directly harm the video QoE. So we definitely need some sort of loss recovery. However, we know that reliable transfer protocols such as Quick suffers from the problem of header line blocking. So in Cell Fusion, we use a partial reliable transfer scheme to perform loss recovery without introducing header line blocking. Our basic idea is that to detect loss accurately, to perform recovery effectively, and to save bandwidth aggressively. To accurately detect loss, we use the playback deadline information from the video application. In addition to loss detection presented by Quick, we also mark some emergent yet not add packets as lost to perform recovery based on the application's need. Then, to effectively perform loss recovery, we use network coding to withstand the high and varying loss rate and recover almost all loss packets in a single RTP. So, what is different of network coding? Traditionally, the loss recovery will not complete before every packet at least one redundant copy is delivered. This scheme is sensitive to repeated loss because lost packets could not be alternated by other packets. However, network coding enables each packet to contain information about all lost packets. So the lost ones could be alternated by other packets. With enough encoded packets received, all original packets could be decoded, completing the recovery. This is the point. Network coding-based recovery is more effective because it does not require any specific packet to be successfully delivered. Then, to finish the partial reliable mechanism, we discard ancient packets that will not be needed by the video playback, and also we only perform recovery once for each packet. In this way, we save the bandwidth and avoid the headline blocking. After the design part, let's briefly go through the evaluation results. In our road test consisting of over 5,000 kilometers of driving, we found that CellFusion outperformed all other comparative solutions on QE metrics, including FPS, stall ratio, and SSM score. From our real-world deployment, we collect packet-level performance metrics to show CellFusion's benefit, since we do not have access to our user's video application. CellFusion significantly mitigated the long-tail effect of latency in cellular networks, and our bandwidth saving scheme achieved an acceptable redundancy cost of about 5%. Okay, finally, let's briefly conclude our work. We present CellFusion, our solution to the problem of seamlessly delivering video in the fluctuating net uh, cellular networks. Also, we combine network coding and our partial reliable transfer scheme with Quick, resulting in a practical transport protocol with best effort reliability, low redundancy cost, and high compatibility. Moreover, CellFusion went beyond research effort, and our solution is currently working in real auto driving vehicles to make their decision making process easy. We believe that CellFusion is a steady step towards teleoperated driving and more amazing vehicle to cloud streaming applications in the future. Okay, thanks for listening. That's all of uh, today's talk.